to another amazing day at ethmantraining.tv where we're here to discuss the fabulous and fantastic FileMaker platform. I've got the fabulous Nick right here uh, who <laughs> does many, many, many of our sessions showing off all sorts of techniques and stuff that he uses, which we are very appreciative of. Uh, real quick, a reminder, we stream on three platforms. We stream on Discord, we stream on YouTube, and we stream on Twitch. I do see all the chats. I do look through all the chats. I do look for questions. We are here to uh, help the FileMaker community, educate the FileMaker community, make it more of a community than it has been previously. Uh, so since we're doing <laughs> since we're doing that, please talk to us. We do appreciate talking. We love hearing questions. It's one of our favorite things ever. Uh, or just even commentary, like, oh, that they didn't, you know, it's cool to see. Uh, I file a lot of it back to Nick. Nick appreciates seeing it. We also appreciate helping you guys out. So, real quick, what is our schedule? Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. I committed the record, so we have a <laughs> Friday this time. Uh, Wednesday and Thursday are, again, Nick days. Today and tomorrow are horizontal reporting and pivot tables, which will be very interesting. Friday, uh, we call FM Restore uh, and FileMaker with Hans a cool deck. That'll be about FileMaker and the web. Specifically, Hans has a really cool... Um, neutral news thing that you can sort of drop into your website that he helped make with FileMaker, I believe. And if you happen to have a Russian IP and you click it, it automatically redirects to this and it shows you a list of neutral news sources. So, kind of a really cool thing he's done. We'll be talking about that on Friday on Depth. And then the week after is also going to be a complete Hanza week. Uh, turning FileMaker databases into iOS apps with Hanza Cool Deco. That'll be very fun, very interesting. Uh, We've done this kind of before with live code. This is kind of a totally different way to do it. So, got to have options. We're using FIAS. Fi Fi FIAS? FIAS? <laughs> it's always been an interesting acronym. Uh, do -do 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 -do. Okay, with that said, if you would like to support the channel, feel free to buy our Learning FileMaker annual subscription, the Complete Learning FileMaker bundle, or the Learning FileMaker video only bundle. We appreciate it. It helps keep the channel going. Uh, it also covers topics we might dis not discuss. We talk a lot about a lot of stuff on live stream, but if you're like, well, actually, I need a really in-depth dive into WebDirect. We don't do a lot of that. <laughs> so things like that. Or like, actually, I need a really basic beginner's guide to this, or this, or this, or this. That's not on the schedule. Um, feel free to buy this. And uh, it's a lot of video content. Nick is in here. Richard is in here. Jacob is in here. They're all fantastic presenters and educators. Uh, and they talk about a lot of subjects on file, pretty much most of FileMaker Pro. It's 100 plus hours. We appreciate it. Uh, thank you to anyone who has already bought it. Helps keep us going. Da -da 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 -da. With that being said, Nick, since I have finished my opening spiel, what are we doing today? Okay. Thank you uh, much for the great presentation. Uh, yes, we. Uh, it's, it's Hansa, by the way. Hansa. It's not Hansa. Oh, whoops. <laughs> yeah, because you know, you see his name. His name, you have a O, a big O like this. Mm -hmm. uh, in in Czech, uh, this is O. It's not O. It's O. It's be between the O and the O. So, you know, so oh. because I, I work with I work with uh, I work with those people. Uh, it's two for you software. Two for you. Two mm -hmm. for you. Okay. And they they uh, they great people. You know, I work I work with them are uh, are uh, like a year or so. Uh, on their plugins they do and stuff like that at the time and uh, so we met multiple times and uh, I was remotely working for them uh, and uh, it was great great experience great people so yeah uh, Hansa is is like uh, is like uh, you know like your father like myself you know a veteran yeah a veteran we, we were we were there at the World War One we were we were there right so <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, it's true. It's true. We, we you know, it's uh, we we there since day one on FileMaker, right? It's the FileMaker experience. So no, it's been often. Awesome so we we and uh, we not we not we not often. You know, we we not we not a uh, uh, lot uh, as there since the old days like this. As because many people, you know, they, first of all they got retired or or they changed platform in the middle of their you know. You know of the of the the bombing, right? <laughs> so they, 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 <laughs> left, they they deserved it, right? So, but we we stayed, and uh, so yeah, it's cool. Um, and today, so we are going to to uh, continue this uh, day two on the pivoted pivoted table uh, kind of a uh, report. But before, I want to uh, answer the uh, uh, the answer of her, uh, somebody on Discord, uh, Shigel Shigel James. Uh, so he has a question about it's not topic question, but uh, it's an interesting question. So I want to address it. Uh, it was part of the my Boolean station, the Boolean Boolean yeah, Boolean station, 
and is to get the get to get the current date without updating all the all the you know the records because he has millions of records. So there's unfortunately uh, there is no alternative on this. Okay, so let me explain because I'm I'm right now I'm working uh, under for for a company. Uh, in based in England, and they 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 have to deal with millions and millions and millions of records, uh, hundreds of millions of records. We 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 talk about, and uh, and we and they have the same problem. First of all, you have to you have to understand that uh, what I'm saying all the time is the number is the quality. It's a quality. The number it's a quality. That means. Uh, the number is going to drive your decision. The number, the number has the uh, you know the last call on what you want to do. What I call the number is the number of connected people in your on your server will drive your decision. It's not the same thing when you have one one people, five or hundred people. The number of records. It's not the same thing when you have 10 records, 100 records, me, 1,000 records of 10 million records or 100 million records. It's not the same thing. You, don't, you cannot do the same. Or when you have a uh, you know, gigabyte of uh, container data, right? it's not the same. Always, uh, you know, when you have a big number, uh, the number will drive. And, and bigger the number is, less opportunity you have. Okay? So here, unfortunately, you don't have but you have techniques that you can use. The first is to run, and this is not a big deal. Even even if you have, even if you have, um, what's the name? Uh, millions of records. Uh, it's not a big deal to run a script on server because those scripts are special. Those scripts are extremely optimized. Okay. Uh, in terms of memory management, in terms of for uh, uh, IOs on the file. First of all, they have I, the IO is directly on the file on the same SSD. And uh, so when you, you will be surprised how fast it is. And especially for the date, we have a, an advantage that plays for us is that you can launch a, a schedule script at midnight and one minute. When everybody's supposedly sleeping, right? So normally you your server at midnight or one a.m. or two a.m. Pick your time, okay? But you know, for example, uh, you know, I'm I'm a member of a credit union, for example, in the United States, and it's not rare. It's not rare when I, I pick up my phone and I want to, you know, at three a.m. in the morning, you know, I want to. Uh, I want to send the money over to my ex-wife like, because I forgot about it, and uh, <laughs> and uh, I, and I pick up my phone and uh, you know I want to transfer money and I say oh the app is not available uh, try later right it's because it's free it's three a.m. and they are making some update and stuff like that right? so it's not rare right so um, so this is what but I want to I want to answer this question because I go I'm going to have a large topic, a large event, you no, know, like a multiple days, like ten days, okay, on dealing with millions of records, okay. So, and I will tell you all about this, okay. So, and uh, so something I want to say about the, the the webinar we do here, you know, what I was I was um, telling that off uh, before the this webinar starts, um, but what we do here, we. We, we just come and explain what we do every day. Uh, and uh, especially myself, I come, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm dealing with something. I come in front of you and I explain things. So we know what we talk about. Sometime, you know, what we do a demo and the demo fails, but we do our best. But what we say here is unique. Uh, last, I had a conversation with a, a friend of mine in, uh, in, in, in Europe. And he, he keeps saying the same thing to me every month. He called me to say the same thing. It is incredible to have this level of of information for free. You know, it's it's uh, normally you don't have this. If you want to know what I what I know, you even even if you want to pay it, you won't get it at that level of uh, sophistication, right? So uh, so. Um, I hope we, we 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 please you, and I hope we make different in your in your 
you know, in your coding and in your life with Farmaker, is a journey with Farmaker. And, uh, and what I hope is that you get as fun, as many fun as I take when I do things with Farmaker. So that being said, let's start sharing screen a little bit. Pivoting, pivoted table um, kind of a, a, a report. Okay. So um, last time in the show, uh, we talk about how deal we think like this uh, without the pain of creating like I have here, you know, 93 rec uh, f uh, fields, right? Uh, you know, you have or, or 60 or 62 fields, right? So you have here, uh, my demo is I want a, a report based on every day of the month. So it's a, a potential of 31 columns, okay? So when you want that being said, when you have 31 columns, you have the potential of 31 fields because each column is a field. So we learn uh, how to um, just, as I, I made a demo, let's say tomorrow in California, they invented a 32nd day of the, of the, of the, of the month because they're capable of this. And uh, so you just have to uh, take the last one or whatever, you know, you take one field, you duplicate it, you rename it 32, and you have your 30, 30 second column done. Because automatically, just because you say 32, have the name of the field will uh, uh, drive, will take whatever the information that needs to be shown in that, in that, in that column. Okay. So uh, that, that great, right? So let me remove the California 32nd day of the, of the month. So <clears throat> I, what, what you need to know about the pivoting table, it's that, let's say in that example, in that example, okay, I have information based on a list, right? It's a, or it's a vertical list like Farmaker is doing, right? And you have information, right? So you can see you have uh, the name of the people, the start time, the end time, the shift name, the shift type, and you have uh, you know, all the information about the, the, all the IDs for the item, for the shift, for, you have all the ID stuff here, right? And you have this for all the people, all the people, right? So you can see here, I have, if I, if I find this guy here, I have 31 records for that guy, right? So what the pivoting table report is, I have 31 records, each one record for each day, right? For December 1st to December 31, okay? So far, so good, right? We have the day of the week because it's important for me to know that. So this is easy to, to you know, uh, day of the week, you have an auto-entry calculation that says day of week date, right? Uh, we have a function, Pharmaker has a function for that. So I have the day of the week. Uh, I have the date, I have the, uh, the name of the, of the employee, I have the ID of the employee. So what I want to do, right, I want to do here, right, is something very simple. I want, right, so here, I create a record I'm going to create a record here, right? Uh, one record, one record with the ID of the employee, right? And all the ID I need in order to create a relationship from that record here and all the record here. You can see we have unique ID for all the employees. It's, it's the same employee for the same shift item, uh, for the same uh, uh, scheduling, okay? The scheduling is this, is one, is this. The scheduling is, is, is this, right? This record here, the parent key of this is this, right? So pretty much, if I duplicate this, uh, this layout, let's duplicate it, okay? I ignore everything. I modify this, I remove this, right? 
And uh, I want to, uh, you know, I'm putting here, oh, no, just don't, don't, forget, don't do this. I want to add a popover here, okay? I'm adding a popover. In that popover, okay, I'm going to add the, the what's the name? The ID scheduling, okay? I'm going to add uh, ID scheduling and the ID company. I think I need it, but the ID scheduling for sure. And the ID employee, okay? I'm adding those three. Okay, remember, so I'm going to create a new record here. I have a new record here, and if I click here, so let me remove this. And put this instead. So, if I click here, I'm going to remove that because that come automatically. So now I have an empty, it's empty. Okay. So, remember, I have one record in that table, my scheduling table, okay? It's the table where I have all those records, all those uh, fields, right? That the table where I have one record that will point to this employee. So I'm clicking here, I'm putting the employee ID. Okay. This scheduling. And uh, normally I should have, uh, no, I don't have the company. No, okay, I don't, I don't need the company. Let's remove the company. So now what I need to do, I need to do something that I'm going to explain. Uh, Marge, when is the uh, auto entry calculation, uh, um, uh, our auto entry calculation kind of for? The auto entry calculation is pretty far out there, I think, unfortunately. Okay, so. okay, it's okay. So. You can see here, oh, it, it came, it came automatically because I, you know, I, so you can see I have my stuff coming in. So let me, let me redo it. Let me redo it. I have one record, right? And I have here 31 records. If I do everything that I need to make a, uh, everything that I need to make that relationship to work, I need those two. Look what happened. Bam. It comes automatically here. Look. It comes. Right? So, why? Because I have an auto-entry calculation that we pick up the information I need from the list. So, what is the list? You know, I have my list here is T02A. This is my list. I have my list of dates, for example. Right? And I have my list of shifts items. T1, T1, T2, T2, of of. You can see T1, T1, T2, T2, of of. Right? So it can it gets so the auto entry calculation will automatically set get value of my list. And thanks to the name of the of the field, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, okay, etc. Et as 31. Okay. And 32 in California, but not yet. So, so you have this. So now do we have any questions so far? We no? do actually okay. have one on Twitch. Yeah. How will okay. the file be altered to run on a local computer? The file be altered? Altered to run understand. on a local computer, yeah. Oh. Oh, uh, look, uh, you can just turn off all the perform script on server and make them perform script local. Um, I don't, uh, you know, it's, uh, yeah, it's, I know this, this, this file is off. I took this file from uh, uh, something I've done for a customer. So, and I, I didn't have the time to make it local because I wanted to, to, to you know, to, to make a, perf I'm, I want to make a, de a demo of the perform script on server at the same time, right? So, um, and, uh, and uh, I really strongly suggest that we, nobody should now uh, run uh, and, and develop 
files on uh, local. Uh, I tell you why. Um, even if you even even if you alone just you know take a Farmaker server for one you know if you if you take Farmaker, if you get a Farmaker server subscription you have for free you have one user. So even if you are alone, I suggest you do that because uh, let's say you're local, you run locally, and you crash your computer. Your file is is already is uh, damaged or potentially damaged. So you you are going to so you know so because when you run a file locally, you have the possibility of damaging a file. When you when you're on server. Uh, damage your file is much less uh, possible than local. So I really strongly suggest you don't do this. Uh, and and globals are not working the same. And uh, and you have a lot of things that are not working the same. And and sometimes you have a trick. You have many tricks and many things that you want to use on server. Um, and one in particular that I have in mind, but I will. Uh, talk about that another time, another day. But uh, so um, so now you understand here, right? But now I want to show you something that cool. Um, you can see, you can see. I don't have the date. Uh, you know, I don't have the date uh, Monday. You know, the first. I don't have the date here. I have the date only. This is a sub summary certain way. Okay. So each time that I'm creating a record in that, in that table, I'm creating, I'm generating the, the date name. You know, I have two fields each time. You know, I have two fields. Uh, where's the... <laughs> okay. I have two fields. I have the shift item and I have the date, right? So I have two fields. I have two set of fields. Day one, shift item one. You know, day two, shift item two, etc. So I have two. I'm auto. I'm I'm sucking from the list of my data. I'm sucking two fields. So, but I want one field, one field to show only once, only once. Because let's say I'm here, and I want to add a new another guy. You know, here I want to add another guy. I want to add uh, Daniel. Okay. And Daniel is the employee number, right? Employee number this. And the scheduling this. Bam. Now I have Daniel. Okay. But also, when I did this, the system, uh, I have the day one day, I have again, you know, I have again the same data. Each record has this. I'm not showing the field, but it is. I can show you here, look. I'm going to take day one, day two, day three, day four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, okay? So I'm going to do this. Put in there. Okay. So for each record, I have this. For each record. But I don't want to show this for all records, right? I want to show this on top of all the records that I'm going to create here, right? So how I'm doing this? I'm using a, 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 a feature of the list view because I am in the list view, and that's the beauty. I'm a list view, not a poll or nothing. So I'm using a sub summary sorted by the month number because I have the month number, you know, for each of them, for each record here, right? I have the, I have the month number. I can show it here, right? So I have the month number. I can do this. I have the month name, I have the month number, I have everything. Month number, I even have the month name, right? Month name, okay. Okay, so, so you can see all of them has, you know, 
the why don't have it the month member oh because oh i need to do this no Ooh. month member why i don't have it uh oh yes okay so my bad is because uh so yeah okay I, I need to i need to make it uh automatically or manually because normally you have a script that do this so sorry for that normally i have a script so i'm putting my month number normally i have the month number so now i can i can do a sub summary based by on the month number and here i'm showing the 31 fields of the uh of the of the of the month right so let's do it month number month number uh where's month number oh sorry for that. month number i'm sorting by the month number boom bam so now i have if he's taking because all the records here will have the same data in that field so I'm using the sub summary, the you know sorted by the month number, because I could have let's say, you know, I'm adding a new record here, for example, and I have here. Uh, I want to do for another month, right? So let's say I want to select uh, this. I have another. I have another month. And uh, I can change the the month here. Let's say I want to do for the first first twenty two. I'm changing this. Oh, first first twenty two, um, and I want to change by the. Um, yeah, I did a mistake here, but it's okay. Uh, I need to do this. Uh, you know what? I want to do this now. The second and the third and the fourth and the fourth, the five, etc. So let's say I have those records, right? So let's say I have those records, okay? And this is the, the first of the month, right? So if, if I'm changing this and I'm doing employee and uh, employee number and the uh, scheduling number, right? And uh, I'm doing this, I'm saying uh, this is a one January, see? Say so change and now, and now automatically I, I didn't do anything right and i have january december right so i could i, I could add the, the year but in my example here it wasn't relevant but you understand that automatically you get this because just as i said it's the first this is january so he said saturday first that was january that uh, wednesday first was on the uh on, the, on december right so yeah, I know the, the the date doesn't work, but it's because I need I need to normally I need to render the script, but you got a point here. So uh, no question so far. I think I can do this. I can just do this, and it will change the day. No, it doesn't change the date. No. Um, so anyway, there's a brief follow up because I don't think uh, the guy asking on Twitch heard you. He said, "Did Nick say change the preferences?" I couldn't quite hear about the file altered to run on a local computer. No, it's if you crash your computer, if you crash FileMaker, if you force quit FileMaker like this, you know, let's say you have oh, your FileMaker force quit like this, you know, force quit. If you do this, you have the potential of altering altering your file and and damage it. So I don't recommend n never uh, do a development with FileMaker local, never. And the the, the behavior is different. The be FileMaker the FileMaker Pro will behave differently on local uh, or on the server. And you can and you can build a file that will work perfectly locally, but completely fail uh, on server if if one day you want to share it. Right. Uh... Yeah, I know, I know, David and Joe. It says all, all the days because normally you have a, uh, you, you have a what's the name? Um, uh, it's because I did. It's because I, I messed up my date when I, I replaced all the dates. So I need to I need to change this, but it's okay. Um, the demo was to 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 show you that you can have a different uh, section like this. So now I want to continue my demo here. So let's destroy this. Uh, 
Actually, I don't know why he did this. Normally, he should have done this. Um, he should have done this. But anyway, um, I want now to show you some cool tricks here, right? For example, you see the date here. So I, I don't. I want to see December here, December. And here, I don't want to have December, Wednesday, December 1st, Thursday, December 2nd, Friday, December. I know it's December. It's the month of December. I don't need to do December, December. And I want to have a, 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 a small name, a small of the day like this. And But my field, my field says this. It doesn't say Wednesday, uh, W, E, D, uh, one. It doesn't say that. It says a date. So, so we use a trick with farming. This is a date field. It's a date field. Okay. It's a date. Date field. Date. Okay. And I'm going there and I'm saying, okay, I want a custom format, and I want the the small of the day, the the you know the short of the day, a space. And I want the number of the month. That's all what I need. The number of the or the number of the day, you know, uh, of the, uh, in the month. So I'm building my own custom format, date format for that. Right. So you can just select all of those, right? Select all of those, and you apply this to, to the, and you have automatically the magic comes, and you have send. Send mon to automatically. What's it? What's cut? What do you say? I was today years old. When I learned how all this formatting stuff existed, basically, he's like, he had no idea this existed. And now he does. Really? Really? Oh. At least uh, my webinar of today serve a purpose. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's very, I'm using that a lot. Because you have, first of all, here's a trick. First of all, it's good. To, to say okay, just send it, you know, because you can do whatever, whatever you want, you know. You can let's say you have you have this a day. You can say, uh, you know, you you have the you already and you have the the short of the system, and you have the long of the system. So the long of the system. So you can whatever the system do. So for example, if I have a custom, if I have a custom here, uh, date. Um, if I have a custom date and time here, if I have a custom date and time, uh, now I am in the uh, US format, right? But if I change uh, here, if I change my format here, right, uh, it would change the, you know, the start of week, Sunday, United States. If I change this, it will change automatically when you do this, right? When you use this. Or you can have your own. Uh, you want custom one, and you say, "Oh, I want." Uh, sorry, it's, it's on the back of the screen. You say, "Oh, I want," or you know, first of all, I want Thursday, and uh, I want uh, uh, you know, deck, and I want uh, twenty-five of the year. I want the small of the year. I want, oh, I want Q Q fourth quarter. You know, you you have your own, um, you know, your your own format like this. And now you can just click there, and you have this. You know. Friday, December fourth, fourth quarter. You know, you have your own, and this is the short, the short of the of the short of the system, long of the system. See, that is very cool. It's very cool. The 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 far, the date format like this is cool. So now I'm using this in my advantage because I want to short that. But you can see I have a tooltip here that tells me the the full date, right? So because I just say I put self in the tooltip. When you put self in the tooltip. He put whatever you have, uh, whatever you have, in the current field, right? So let's say I put self here. Okay, my tooltip we said December. Here it says a date. Here it said nothing because I have nothing. But you understand? You put self. You don't need to point. You don't need to do this. For example, you don't need to do this. Uh, day two, date two. Uh, you know, day, uh, no, day two, day two. And then go to the next day three. This is a pain. This is a big pain to do that. Imagine that you need to do this 93 times. It's a pain. No, 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 no. What I like to do is this. 
you select all of this, all of this, and you go there and you say self. <clears throat> they all will take self, so now they all work. You don't need to point to the field. Say self. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? It works. So it's that that's why it's cool, right? It's very, really cool. So now, so so now you learn how to have a tooltip uh, useful and not a, a big pain to, to implement, right? So now I want to show you something cool. I want to show you how to build something like this. So let's duplicate this again. Let's duplicate this. Open it. Let's say, let's say, I have nothing here. All of the gone, right? Uh, no, let's 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 keep one. Gone. And the same here. Gone. Okay. And you say, okay, now I have to do that thirty-one time, uh, thirty-one time by two, right? Sixty-two times. No, no. So you build one, you say, okay, this is, uh, you, you point, you, you, you say, okay, uh, no, this, uh, you have the field, so you have the field here, the field is shift one, shift item one, okay? So you have to, uh, you know, you, you, you build it, and you say, I want, you build your, um, what's the name, your conditional formatting. Of course, you don't want to come here and and do this three time by thirty one time. This is why most of the people give up on the on the pivoting table thing because it's so complicated to do, and it takes I mean it takes a long a long time to do. So we can learn and use techniques. Now that you know the let statement, uh, and now you know why I put the let statement before, because you can use take the same technique I'm using for the name of the field, day one, day two, day three, day four, okay. So with the same technique, we apply to the condition for me. I say, I declare Sunday is one. Okay, I'm declaring it. I'm declaring Sunday Igor one because this is true. For FileMaker starts the week on Sunday. Okay. So if you say day of week, if you say day of week, day of week of get current date, it will say four. And we are Wednesday. So we are the third day of the week. But no, we are on the fourth day of the week. Sunday, Monday, first Tuesday, and Wednesday, four. Okay? So, that being said, let's continue. I'm declaring Sunday the day one. Okay? I'm saying, what is the number? What number I need to deal with now? What is the number of that field? Is the right world, the right word? of the get field name self. Ha! Ha! So here, you need to know what the right word do. Normally you should say, you should know that because I explained to you last time what the right word. So let's dissect this. Okay, a, a minute, right? Let's dissect this. So I'm getting there and I'm doing this. I cannot say self, so I need to point to uh, to a field. Okay. So right world, right word, get field name, this one, one. So it's one. If I say day two, it will say two, three, four. Why? Because what's get field name doing? Get field name gets the file, get the name of the field. Here, I cannot use self. Uh, it will insult me because it says self cannot work. Uh, why? Uh, self 
cannot work here, right? Because he said, no, this function cannot be used. Okay, it can be used only when you have, when the, when the calculation points to an object, like conditional format, an auto-entry calculation, a calculation of validation, a, a hidden state, hidden state, and of course, conditional formatting, and of course, tooltip. So you have a lot of things. Tooltip, hidden state, conditional formatting, auto-entry calculation, and calculation of validation. Those five are when you can use the self function because they point directly to an object, right? To a field, to a field, or an object, or whatever. So self doesn't work. So, but we can use, okay. Imagine that the self will take automatically. Okay. So now I'm saying the right word, the right word, okay, right, right word. And the the yeah, and I want one. So the right word of the name of the field is one. So it will it will take one automatically. So thanks to the name of the field, I'm getting here my conditional formatting working. Is getting the is getting the number of where I am. Okay. Now. I know, I know that my name of the, my field names, my field names, right, start with day. Is day, space, and the number. Is the field, is day, space, and the number. And now I can, yeah, I can use the get field, and I reconstruct my field name here. Right? So, I understand it's a little bit. Uh, I. You need to learn get field name. You need to learn get field, right? And because now I can use this to say if the day of week of the field content equals Sunday, right? Then, right? Equal one, equal one, by the way. I could have said one. But I prefer to say Sunday. It's, it's, it's more, you know, efficient. Like in more humanly, you can understand better, right? So I'm 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 taking I'm saying with the get field content, the get field. So what the get field? Let, let's let's pair it with the get field. Okay. You have the different. I explained that multiple times, but I can do it. Get field. If I point to a field, it will take whatever in the field, right? Uh, why is that field missing? Why is that field missing? I have no idea. Get field, I am. You should have said no, right? I'm in, I'm in a 202, right? Yeah, 202. Uh, get field. Oops. Get field. Field name. Oh, uh, get field name, sorry and do this okay so so this uh we need to look we need a i'm going to explain that in the auto entry calculation or something i don't have the time right now to explain that but the get field name gets you the field the name of the field right and then you can get get fields to get the field name that's why they said field name otherwise they will just say field but as they say field name, so you need to get a field name to get this. So think of this, you know, and then I'm saying, I'm saying, if the day of week, day of week of this, right, equals six or equal one, here is zero because it's not, right? It's not, but if I say day four, five, oh, five, yes, the day five is a Sunday, right? It's a Sunday because it's one. So you have the file, you can experiment yourself here. But what I want to demonstrate here is how to build auto entry, uh, uh, what's the name? How to build conditional formatting, automatic. The same here, right? So thanks to my, thanks to the right world of the get field name of self, I know 
uh, what's the name? Uh, for example, if this uh, is a, a day off, a, a vacation, because I have a list, list of holidays, so I can get the value of my list of holidays based on this. If the value number, right? If this value number, the right, if, if this is, I, I can get the value on this. Uh, you know, if you get it, then that means it's a day off. And here, right, is when it's selected. Uh, it, but this is different. This is more complicated. But here you have the, so now that you have your auto entry, you have, you have the, the conditional formatting that, that works, that, that will work all the time for, for all those fields all those fields from that field to that field, the auto entry calculation will work automatically. So now I can do this. I duplicate, right? I duplicate it. And I said the item two. Immediately I'm positioning this like this up is position, right? So I duplicate, I'm going to redo it. And now what I can do, I can do duplicate. I duplicate, you know, duplicate the, I think it's here, duplicate, where is duplicate? Uh, duplicate, here, right? And then you say, I want the three. Duplicate, I want the four. Duplicate, I want the five. Duplicate, I want the six. Duplicate, I want the seven. Duplicate, I want the eight. You right. Duplicate, I want the nine. Duplicate, I want the ten. Right? So ten. Duplicate, I want the eleven. Duplicate, I want the twelve. Duplicate, I want the thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, etc. And they all position themselves very well. Right? They all position themselves. So let's redo it for who doesn't understand. I have the first one. The first one's ready. I have the conditional formatting working. It's a universal conditional formatting. It will work on all the fields. I duplicate the field. I use duplicate. Here, he asked me to select a field. I'm selecting the second one. And immediately, I'm positioned here up. Okay, it's positioned. And now, I can continue. Duplicate or Alt D, or Control D or Command D, okay? And automatically, here I'm selecting the third, is positioned exactly at the same distance because I have position from the first one. After the duplicate, I position where I want it. And then every time I'm going to duplicate, it will duplicate with the same distance. You know, with the same positioning at the same distance. I know 99% of you guys doesn't know that. You need to be an old guy like me, like Onza, uh, like, uh, like uh, your father much to know this. Otherwise, you have no way to know this stuff. No way. So you understand now to duplicate. Pop, 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 pop. I'm doing like my 31 field in no time. Same for this one. For this guy, I have my conditional formatting works, you know, day of week self, because here, here I, I point to the self, you know, day of week of the if self, and then I can do exactly the same conditional formatting I'm here, right? And then I can say duplicate, I'm doing day two, and then I'm positioning exactly where it should be, and I say duplicate day three. Duplicate day four, okay? Duplicate day five, duplicate day six, duplicate day seven, eight, nine, and 10, 10, 11, 12, 13, oh. Now I break it. If I duplicate, see it's broken. Uh, I need to reposition up, and now I can do continue 14, 15, 17, etc. Right. So that is cool. So is the gift that just keeps giving. What is it? Very nice technique. 
Yeah, so the duplicates to align fields like this. Okay, guys, you know who invented that? Okay, the guys of the Mac team, Mac plus the first Mac, the Mac 128. The Mac 128 had Mac Draw. Mac Draw. They invented this in Mac Draw 1.0. And because Claris he inherited all the patents of Mac all the Mac right Mac draw Mac CAD Mac Mac something they inherited all the patents because at one point all the Mac stuff became Claris in the eighties right. So they inherited all the patents and they can use this. So there's no way if you're not like 50 and plus that you can know that, you know. So all you have to, you have to, uh, but that is not a Mac, uh, what, this is a power, okay. I have this, I have this power Mac. It's a power Mac uh, 6100, uh, 6, power Mac 6100. I got it and it was a super nice computer a, a pizza box format a computer I loved it my power Mac uh, you know my power Mac 6100 it was so great so great and I had the the the, the what's the name the the other clip the other you know the the, the, the quads that uh, augmented the to 66 giga uh, megahertz to to 90 91 something like this right I had the the, the the quartz up upgrade on the, it was like oh I loved it so you understand now and you all you understand the self so the self is great all and now look all all my conditional formatting works there's no problem here uh, oh yeah that is even even older that Commodore yes. yeah I got com I got no my uh, my first computer was an Amiga Amiga. I had an Amiga, and after that, I had an Atari. Uh, and, um, and Atari was great. Atari was great. I had a, a, a color screen. And uh, anyway, so we far away from what we talk about here. Someone said, nice duplicate trick from Michelle Gravel on YouTube. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, the duplicates. Uh, make, otherwise, imagine, you know, uh, but we have uh, we have uh, ways to do that differently now. You can select this, but you can do this like this, and you can say horizontal, and you can say you don't want the labels, and you can say this, right? Just like this. So you can do this, but it's not the same, right? It's not as cool, right, as my technique here. I mean, my technique, the 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 technique. So I, I do it again. You duplicate, so you can duplicate by, uh, you know, with Alt Control or whatever, Alt on Mac. You duplicate like this, you know, you duplicate. And then you can say 13 and Command D 14, Command D 15, 16. Uh, if you move it, it's, bro it's broken. You have to do it again. You need to duplicate. And if you move it, you can up. Now is good. Nice position. Duplicate. Duplicate, duplicate. But this is a trick from um, what's the name? Uh, this is a trick from the the eighties. You know, MacDraw, uh, MacDraw had this ability. Claris works, uh, Claris CAD, and then you know, pretty much uh, all the the draw, all the draw uh, software from Claris they did that. And uh, so that cool, yeah, that that very cool. Uh, this trick and the conditional formatting also to use the self and to use the name okay the trick here uh forget about the get field name stuff the trick here is to to get uh to use the name of the field to get the number right but there's something else uh because we have uh, two minutes we can i can show you something you want to see I, i'm showing that often but all, each time that i'm showing it uh, people are amazed 
let's say here I'm saying uh, C here. I have day, I have jour, dia, and giorno. So I have, uh, you see in, the, in my comment here, I put in the comment of the field, right? I put in the comment of the field, I put that, for example, right? I put something like this. In the comment of the field, right? So now that I have this in the comment of the field, look what I can do here. I can, right, go there and fill comments, right, fill comments, the file name is the current name, and I can say day one, okay? Oh, get field name day one. I have this, right? See? So I so I can take a comment out of a field. So I can change I can I put a comment in the field, right? And I can get it in the calculation. So now I can do something like this, you know. You remember my let statement? Oh, okay. So I want the field. The field equal this. Okay. The field is get field name. And I want this. For example, okay, the field one. Uh, comment equal field field comment. The file name we don't care. And we want the field name. So this is a field name. Okay. So now I have this. So if you remember my 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 let statement stuff, okay. So I can get the comment. I got the I got the comment here. Normally it should be it should be working. So why it's not working? Uh, field name equal get field name plot. What do I do wrong? Oh, you missed a code apparently. No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have this. So now I can say this. I can say this. I can put, you know, uh, uh, what's the name? List uh, of values equal, okay? Substitute all the comments. I'm searching for this character and I'm replacing by this one, right? So now I have the list of value, right? So now, I can say, get, uh, okay, I, I want French, for example. Uh, hold on, which is, a, yeah, French. So I want the French. Let's say, let's say language, let's say language, language, code equal two. Let's say I have a script at the beginning that I'm saying, oh, you in French, right? You are in French, so uh, you know the French is the code number two. So I say get here. I want the 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 you know the the value equal. Okay, get value of the list of values, and I want the language code. So now here I have the French. I have the name of the field in French. So that is one of my way I have to translate, uh, what's the name, to translate a, a software, right? So you put the translation inside the, 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 the what's the name, inside the, the comment of the field. So you put all the language. So, uh, so you, and, and you have a code. You know that always you put in the in the second position. You put the name. You put in the, in. The, so now, see. So now here I have jour, but you see. But if I change, let's say I want to change the, the code, I want one. This is English. Two, Spanish. 
and Italian. So you can change all your software, right? And you put the language, you put this in, inside this, right? in the comments. So you want to translate uh, the shift item, for example. You want to translate this, so it will be shift item. Okay. Uh, shift item, it will be, uh, in French, it will be uh, uh, tour. Uh, uh, in uh, in uh, Spanish, it will be turno. Uh, in Italian, it will be torno. Okay? Okay. So, I changed this, right? So now I, I put a comment. So and, and the advantage is you can see the comment, you can toggle here and you can see the comments, right? So now if I go and let's say I have a, a field and I have the language, I have everything. So I want to change, right? I want to um, duplicate this. I want to change and I want to say, oh, I don't want this. I want this field, right? The shift item one, right? So it's two. In French, in English is shift item, to turn, turn. See, it changed. So you you point to the comments, right? So so you have a lot of trick here to use, in in the manage database here. You can you can save your bot here on many things, and always the good common sense, because and and now you understand. Uh, if you, for you guys that follow me, my, 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 my webinars, everything has a logic. You need to learn to use the list of values. You understand now why, because you, you take a list of values, right? And then you have a way, a deep, multiple way to get which value you need. Can be the field name, like in that case, can be the rec the record number, re record number one, two, three, four, five, and and the record number will suck in the value for you. Um, so so you you need to learn this. You need to learn the 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 let statement because only when you have a let statement you can do something clean like this. You know, um, so you get the list of values and then you have the value number. You take from the field name, you take the value number one from the, you know. So all of this is, is it was part, it's part of a, of a technique of always go to the minimum possible, right? And then you need to learn how to use the tags and the Boolean stuff, right? Because in every, everywhere, like here, for example, uh, in, when I go calendar, I have plenty of tags, tag shift change, holidays, or employee changed. I have tags like this, right? Uh, to to make sure that I, you know, I can, I can, uh, uh, I, I know what's going on in each of these stuff, right? And um, and uh, so it's, it, you have plenty of technique like this. Uh, very simple. It's a change of mind. It's not a change of practice. It's a change of mind. It's a mindset. It's a different way of thinking. I'm thinking yes, no. Thinks like, thinking like computer, like like Farmaker thinks. Think Farmaker is yes, no. You know, for him that's you know is yes, no. Thinking list of values because we have an arsenal to suck in values and and because you know how to use values, right? This type of of uh, this type of uh, of uh, uh, report should be easy for you now because. It is easy. You have a, one field that takes the value number one, another field that takes the value number two, another field that takes the value number three of a list. And then the fields will do flats like this. But in order to make the thing easy to, with the replication of the same thing all the time, I'm showing you tricks like the name of the field, like the duplicate, like the self, right? or the duplication of the object in layout. All of this is part of normally for you to make the thing easy to build. So we have question and... Uh... We have one from uh, Simon, but then I think we're good. Would you then put that let statement into the tooltip to show the other Yes, well, be, 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 of course. <laughs> 
And actually, that's what I'm doing most of the time. Uh, but you know, you you can okay. Let, let's take this, this calculation that I have here, right? So here, right? And copy this. And here we have an advantage. We have a big advantage. We can use self of self here. So it's it's automatic. Self look self. So now I don't need to and the value you know and. Uh, Right. So now I have self. Uh, so let me uh, mouth name, mouth number. Jour. Right. So I can select all of those. Copy the, copy this. Select all of those. Paste. Now it works. Right. So. I can I can do I, I can do a, a I can do a what's the name a value okay and I can use uh, for example here I can use like and so it's and the um, right word of uh, self of of get field name sorry get field name of self one uh okay. normally you should say now the tool tip here should should say jour jour un. see uh, i need to add i need to add a, a space okay okay add the space here and uh so now with this right look i copy this and i change this Boom. And now it should say jour 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, I don't know why it, said non, it doesn't say jour ici. Oh, because I don't have, a, uh, yeah, I don't have the, the comments. <laughs> I only have on those, you know. So I need to continue, put the comment here on, uh, on all the fields. But if you put the comments, if you put the comment on the first, and then when you duplicate, 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 it will duplicate the comments as well, right? You don't do, you don't, you, normally you don't have to do this. You prepare the, your, your field and then you duplicate, right? Uh, so that, and that's why I'm using that technique most of the time is because of translation. Uh, it's, a, it's a perfect translation system. Actually, I, uh, just before we go, I made one day a demonstration at Firemaker and say, why I don't have here why I don't have here a tab here that says language, right? Language. And why I don't have, uh, why I don't have, uh, what's the name? The possibility to say, oh, in French is this, in English is this, in, right? So English, you know, the, because FileMaker uh, change language when you change the, the language of the computer. So based on the language of the computer, why I don't have, and that's why I came with that demo here. I said, why we, why we don't have this implemented in the, you know, you know what I mean? So, and, uh, and they were, they were saying, oh yeah, it's a good idea, right? Oh, by the way, by the language, uh, one day I will do uh, a demo of my FM, FM depot here. That's fine, I want to learn uh, French, and that is in Italian. But if you want in, Fra in, uh, in French, look. So this is FireMaker. Okay, we in FireMaker, right? And uh, and we we can you can oh I want them in Greek. Oh, that's in Greek. Uh, Chinese. Eh? Isn't it cool? <laughs> so uh, so imagine that imagine that uh, you co you couple this with uh, with this. Uh, you know, with this technique, <laughs> that's cool. Okay, so uh, let, we, we need to go because otherwise I'm staying here all day. <laughs> yes, thankfully we have tomorrow and next week and the weeks after that. Yeah, so. yeah, we have a lot of me. <laughs> yes, we do. Thank you so much, Nick. This is fantastic. Look forward to having okay. you back for D3 tomorrow. Okay, thank you very much. Uh-huh. Thank you. Thank you.
maker who uh, may be a FileMaker license. Uh, well, it's potentially expired. Look at the back of that car right there. Looks like the FileMaker license has expired. Sir, I need you to step out of the vehicle. Sir, sir, step out of the vehicle. Sir, 